This extremely sick puppy was saved by an unlikely hero. While certainly some would cluck their tongues in sympathy, most would still drive on by. Many wouldn't even give a backwards glance and even fewer would stop. Yet, when Jenny and Jimmy Desmond passed the sick little puppy when driving through the remote village, they became part of the latter. They became a part of the minority. They decided to take the dog in. Yet, little did they know that even though they would save the dog, somehow they would still end up in tears. It was in the late 90s that this couple found both each other and their shared passion for rescuing and rehabilitating wild animals. And it was after embarking on a round-the-world trip in the Sepalog Orangutan Rehabilitation Center in Borneo, an island in Southeast Asia, that these two got their first real taste of wildlife conservation, and their mutual love of animal rehabilitation was ignited. The couple then spent the next few years volunteering at wildlife sanctuaries across Asia and Africa until they were eventually called to the African nation of Liberia to run the Liberia Chimpanzee Rescue and Protection LCRP, facility. It was here that their lives were forever changed. It was a regular day in 2016 when the couple was driving through the remote village. A regular day. However, then Jenny spotted something on the roadside that was anything but ordinary. The puppy was alive but barely, and it was up to these two who had made it their mission to dedicate their lives to wildlife preservation to help the dog in any way they could. After pulling up to the side of the road, Jenny began assessing the pup's health, and it soon became apparent that without immediate medical attention, the dog had little chance of surviving the night. However, it also soon became apparent that saving this dog's life was not going to be an easy task. The villages surrounding them showed little, if any, concern for the sick animal, and when questioned, they denied any knowledge or responsibility for its health. While it was obvious that the pup was in bad shape, there was little Jenny and Jimmy could do to get these people to help. Things got worse when Jenny tried to take the dog to her truck. What was simply an apathetic attitude a minute ago soon turned to aggression. One man went so far as to tell Jenny that if she wanted to take the stray dog, she would need to pay for it. Not in the business of haggling over animals' lives, Jenny needed to think and act fast. After convincing the villagers that she would take the dog, nurse it back to health and return it to their care, they agreed to let them go. It was only later, back in the truck, with Jimmy and the puppy now safely by her side, that Jenny admitted she had no intention of returning the animal to the village. But the three were not out of the woods yet. It was still to be determined how these chimp experts were going to save the life of an extremely ill dog. As it turned out, the sickly pup could not have landed in better hands. While their expertise was certainly primarily in chimp care, Jimmy was a trained veterinarian and Jenny had worked with and saved everything from crickets to owls. Back at the LCRP facility, Jimmy and Jenny were able to get a closer look at their new companion and could not believe the extent of the puppy's terrible condition. This little dog, who had by now been named Snafu, was plagued with a slew of infections and health issues. Walking on shaky legs, Snafu would not or could not put up a struggle when being handled by the couple. The next few days would be critical as Jenny and Jimmy focused on building his strength and bonding with him. Snafu was cleaned and fed. He was shown love and affection, but unfortunately, despite the attention and care he was receiving, the pup showed little signs of improvement. It was only a few days later when the couple was just beginning to lose hope that little Snafu made a change. He began walking on steadier legs and even started to give a delighted Jenny and Jimmy little kisses. But he was not out of the woods yet. For now, it was time to start treatments against his many infections. As a vet who specialized in emerging diseases, Jimmy felt confident that he knew how to tackle Snafu's numerous health issues. Yet, illness and infection were not the only obstacles this little dog had to overcome. Snafu was extremely malnourished from his many days of not eating, and the lack of food had now put this little pup in the position where his body had begun digesting its own muscle. This was where Jenny stepped in. 
an outstanding nurturer when it came to her animals, Jenny made it her mission to ensure Snafu was eating as much food as possible on a daily basis. And her perseverance paid off. Before long, Snafu began acting as a dog should. But with newfound energy came newfound problems. Soon, Snafu began picking at his many wounds, a behavior that could lead to new infections. So, Jenny decided to put a cone around Snafu's neck, the only measure she felt would help him from injuring himself further. And soon, the puppy began exploring the sanctuary and making friends with the other animals. Jenny and Jimmy watched this unfold with more than a hint of nervousness. Despite gaining back most of his health, Snafu was still a shy and timid little dog, and it was hard to tell how he'd get along with all the chimpanzees, who could be both curious and extremely territorial. As it turned out, Jimmy and Jenny could breathe in peace, for the chimps and Snafu would bond together beautifully. Still fragile from his conditions, the apes would watch over the pup like protective parents, carrying him up and down stairs and leading him around the sanctuary grounds. As Snafu aged and matured, his relationship to the chimps changed from one of a child to peer. It was not an uncommon sight to find Snafu nestled with the apes as if he was one of their own. And as the months went by, life with the chimps brought significant changes to Snafu. Over the course of a year, the timid little pup disappeared forever. And in his place stood a proud, confident, fully grown dog. The cone long gone, his fur fully regrown, and his timid demeanor was replaced with that of a lively, happy canine, which ran freely throughout the sanctuary and played with his chimp pals. Snafu could not have asked for a better or happier home, yet this placed Jimmy and Jenny in a great dilemma. The sanctuary was as busy as ever, and there was no shortage of chimps needing to be rescued. Jenny and Jimmy were running out of free space for any new patients that needed their help, and the couple soon found themselves having to make a tough decision regarding Snafu's future. While their love for Snafu knew no end, Jimmy and Jenny's first priority at the sanctuary needed to be the chimps. With work being so busy, they began to feel that their little rescue dog was not receiving the love and care he needed and deserved. After some long and tearful discussions, it was decided that Snafu's future would not be at the chimps' sanctuary. And it was Jenny who thought of the perfect place for Snafu to call his future home. The green brush and dirt paths of Liberia, Africa was to be replaced by the concrete jungle of the United States of America. Soon, Jenny, Snafu, and Princess, the couple's second dog, boarded a plane for the other side of the world. The plan was for Snafu to live with Jenny's sister and nieces, so while he may not have been able to stay with his adoptive mother forever, at least he would remain with family. Snafu was to be given a comfortable life in America, albeit not as exciting as a chimp sanctuary. Jenny and Snafu shared a heartfelt goodbye, with Jenny knowing that her little fighter would make it work no matter where in the world he was. With a new, loving family and a beautiful house to call home, Snafu settled quickly and happily. It wasn't long before the story of the pups happily ever after in America reached the internet, where major media outlets grabbed hold of the news and took it to new and unbelievable heights. The rescue pup's story made headlines. Outlets such as the Dodo and YouTube reported the touching tale with a series of video interviews, and reporters were quick to trace the couple and convince them to relay their experiences with Snafu. Since then, the Desmond family have remained in the limelight, using their 15 minutes of fame to help push their cause of helping chimps and wildlife across Africa. ABC recently contacted the couple and covered the story of Leo, a baby chimp torn from his family and forced to spend his youngest months in a cage outside of a bar in a Liberian national park, before being taken in by the Desmonds. Leo was immediately welcomed by the other chimps and soon settled successfully. While the couple continued to serve their lifelong missions of stopping chimp trafficking in Liberia, it unfortunately is not a fading industry. Despite the high number of chimps rolling into their sanctuary, the couple is constantly fighting an uphill battle. Africa's animals have many threats against them, and while the loss of habitat is the main enemy, poaching and its 10 billion a year industry isn't far behind. Chimps often find themselves the victims of a live pet trade or the bushmeat market, 
The numbers become too much for Jimmy and Jenny to go up against alone, yet they do their best. The couple specialize in pushing strategies to find against chimp trafficking, helping some that have come from even the most unimaginable of circumstances. While one lone sanctuary might struggle in a fight against trade as lucrative as chimp trafficking, thankfully, the LCRP is far from alone. They have conservation partners like the Jane Goodall Institute, Eco Health Alliance, Smithsonian Institute, Uganda Wildlife Education Center, and the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International. Each of these organizations does their part in helping to track traffic chimps and rescue them. However, getting them out of the horrid environments they're kept in is only half of the battle. Most of the rescue chimps had been subjected to unthinkable circumstances and arrived at the sanctuary depressed and traumatized. Every rescued chimp goes through therapy and is built back up into a healthy ape. One baby chimp named Gloria witnessed the passing of her mother and spent months locked away in horrible conditions with very little company from other chimps or humans. Jenny and Jimmy were able to collaborate with the UN mission to successfully rescue her. Another baby ape named Gola went through a similar experience. She was saved by a ranger, but the poachers escaped with their mother, who was sold for bushmeat. Likewise, a baby chimp named Jack spent his early life hidden away in a chimp trafficker's backpack. Though obviously not in a good shape when being rescued, Jack went on to make a full recovery. Today, all these chimps are thriving, along with hundreds of others who have been saved by the LCRP. And with any luck, Jimmy and Jenny will be working for the safety of Africa's chimps for many years to come. Finding a real friend isn't easy, but if you're lucky enough to manage it, your whole life changes. Today, we're also looking at a very special friendship and quite an unlikely one between Bone Digger, a ferocious lion, and Milo, a tiny dachshund. No one would ever expect such different species to form a unique and special bond, but Milo and Bone Digger have defied all odds and built a relationship together. If you're looking for a heartwarming story where opposites attract, you're in the perfect place. These two are best friends and there are photos to prove it, but the story of their friendship is one that is just as special as these two very different animals are. Listen on to learn more about how these two met and became fast friends years ago. Bone Digger is a huge male lion. He weighs in at a whopping 500 pounds and, like all lions, has the potential to be a killer that could threaten even men. Yet, he has a soft heart and a special place in his life for little Milo. While these two friends are very different and come from backgrounds that are worlds apart, they both suffered difficulty that brought them into each other's lives. Now they're inseparable. Everyone could stand to learn about friendship from Bone Digger and his friend Milo. They make an odd couple, but their love for each other and tolerance set an example that we could all follow. These two don't care about their differences or that the world thinks they should be enemies. They're just happy to hang out together. Milo and Bone Digger live together in an animal park in the GW Exotic Animal Park found in Winnewood, Oklahoma. While Milo isn't exactly an exotic animal, he gains his fame from spending time with his pal, the King of the Jungle. In fact, there are a number of dachshunds living in the animal park and they all get along well with the lion, but Milo is definitely his favorite pal. The two were raised by Mr. Ranka, who is a pretty amazing creature himself, albeit a human one. This man has a special touch with the animals and has created a park home for them that fosters the unique bonds they've formed. Mr. Ranka is someone worth hearing about too, and we'll cover a bit of his story shortly. It is, after all, an integral part of the story of Milo and Bone Digger. A unique human being himself, Mr. Reinke is responsible for looking out for animals, and he absolutely loves them. He's a double amputee with two prosthetic legs, but he doesn't let that slow him down at all. In fact, since he can't completely rely on his legs, he's turned to helping animals who have health issues too. He's been dedicating his time to looking after Milo, Bone Digger, and even more animals at the animal park for the past several years. Despite the issues he's faced himself, Mr. Reinke has never lost his compassion or interest in his furred counterparts. And the animals don't seem to care whether he has legs or not. 
As you can see from the photo, they love their caregiver deeply and enjoy spending time with him. According to Mr. Reinke, the most surprising thing about the unusual friendship that Milo and Bone Digger enjoy is the fact that they actually communicate with each other. Though from distinctly different backgrounds, they talk to each other all the time and appear to understand each other. Bone Digger will roar fiercely, as lions are wont to do, and instead of running or cowering like a normal dog, Milo huffs back at his pal, seemingly telling him to calm down or giving advice. While no one is completely certain of what they're talking about, the creatures definitely have their own methods of communication. It's certainly a sight to see and is something that visitors to the park are likely to notice if they happen to see the huge lion and his tiny pal together. Even an experienced animal handler like Mr. Reinke finds it interesting to observe how Bone Digger treats his little friend. Not only is he gentle and very careful not to injure Milo, who is considerably smaller than him, but he even shares. The lion enjoys large meals of raw meat, fit for a king of the jungle, but he rarely eats alone. He's more than happy to share his dinner with Milo and the other dachshunds that live on the animal farm. It's a strange dynamic and one that Mr. Reinke is surprised by. After all, most lions are fairly aggressive about their food and with his size, Bone Digger could easily appropriate the entire meal for himself, but he happily invites his friends to eat with him. Honestly, we could all learn a little something from this gorgeous, friendly lion. Chances are, you'd never see a tiny creature like a dachshund and a lion acting like best friends in the wild. But in the GW Exotic Animal Park, anything is possible. These two would never have found each other otherwise, but here, in the animal park, they're able to spend their quality time together, playing and resting, as well as talking in their own unique way. There's no shortage of love here and people love to see the photos and videos of the two animals loving on each other. They snuggle and play fight, with Bone Digger always taking great care not to hurt his best friend, despite the difference in size, and they even eat and nap together. It's positively adorable. But things weren't always this wonderful. In fact, their difficult past is what truly bonds these two together. There's something we've neglected to mention until now and that is that Bone Digger is ill. He suffers from health issues that have disabled the huge lion and his illness affects nearly everything he does. It's a very serious problem for Bone Digger, but it never stops him from enjoying life and living it up. He's still very interested in playing and hanging out with Milo, and while he's not doing well every day, the two friends are always up for a little love and hanging out together. They live life to the max, which is more than we can say for many people who are in perfect health. Listen on to learn more about Bone Digger's debilitating disease and the role Milo plays in keeping the lion in great shape, mentally and physically. Bone Digger has been diagnosed with a metabolic bone disease, which means he's constantly dealing with health issues and exhaustion. It causes ongoing problems for him and makes him weak, as well as causing chronic pain. He handles the disease well, but that is largely due to the companionship of Milo. Whenever the lion is feeling low or his illness is hitting him hard and he can't move much, Milo is always there for his pal to raise his spirits and keep him interested in life. There is a very special reason for their friendship and without Milo, who knows where Bone Digger would be. He enjoys hanging out with Mr. Reinke, of course, and he's kind to all the GW Exotic Park dachshunds but there's something special about his pal Milo. When you look at the photos of Mr. Reinke and his lion, you might be tempted to call him a lion tamer. After all, while it's bizarre how well Milo and Bone Digger get along, it's downright weird that he also gets right in there with a human. Mr. Reinke has no fear of Bone Digger, despite his size and the ferocious lion reputation. He is more than happy to get up close and personal, and for his part, the lion is most comfortable with his human when he sprawled across Mr. Reinke's prosthetic legs. The two of them may not share the exact same bond as Milo and the lion, but there is definitely something special there too. And it has nothing to do with Mr. Reinke being a lion tamer, which he is most certainly not. The main reason Mr. Reinke and Bone Digger are so close is that the man has been feeding the lion by hand since babyhood. When Bone Digger was a little cub, Mr. Reinke would look after him and make sure he got enough to eat. 
That helped form the unique bond between man and lion, which we've seen before in captivity. However, they've taken things a bit further, and Mr. Reinke has even trained the lion to follow some of his commands. The lion listens and obeys, much like a dog, and not at all like we're used to seeing lions. When the bond is this strong, and you have a lion who is raised from cubhood by a human, however, you can get away with a whole lot more than you could with a wild lion. Combined with the friendship Bone Digger has with Milo, there is no shortage of moral support for the feline. We've seen that Bone Digger gets along equally well with dogs and humans, but what about other cats? He's not the only large cat to live at the animal park. In fact, there's another one there, named Tony. He's a tiger, and he's also been raised in captivity. Unlike Bone Digger, Tony is a healthy feline and doesn't deal with any kinds of health issues. The two grew up together, and they also enjoy hanging out together, though they don't have the same sort of friendship that the lion does with his dog friend Milo. Tony also brings plenty of people to the park to enjoy watching him play and wander around. He's a pretty magnificent animal all on his own. It's also a draw to have a tiger as well as a lion and the park. As you can tell, Mr. Reinke has a pretty big soft spot for cats, especially large ones like tigers and lions. Many consider him to be very brave for taking on the responsibility of these huge felines when they're known for destroying a human body in moments. Regardless of what they're capable of, Mr. Reinke loves helping animals and has dedicated his life to aiding them just like he did with Tony and Bone Digger. It's still impressive, considering most people would never be brave enough to snuggle up to a lion and then walk away to tell the tale. He's always been fond of pets, and while these may seem more exotic than your average cat, they're right up Mr. Reinke's alley. He's in his element when he has more cats to look after, like the ones you're about to see. Bone Digger and Tony may be the long-standing resident big cats for the animal park, but that doesn't mean that Mr. Reinke doesn't help any other animals. In fact, there were recently some adorable tigers brought in. They need special care and feeding since they're still small and so, the generous man has happily jumped in to look after these tiger cubs. The one in the photo here is named Tippy. Cubs may be smaller versions of the grown-ups, but they're still considerably larger than a normal house cat, and it makes sense that they make people nervous. For this farm family, however, tiger cubs are just another fun part of working there. And Mr. Reinke isn't the only one who gets involved in raising these adorable cubs, as you'll soon see. But first, let's check out who Tippy brought with him when he arrived. Tippy was far from alone when he arrived at GW Exotic Animal Park. He had his little brother Orlando with him, and the two play and fight together just like any other siblings. They may be a little crazy at this age, but they'll learn to be calmer, and Mr. Reinke is hoping that they'll be great friends with Milo and the other dachshunds like him. He wants to see the special bond last even after Bone Digger is gone, since he'll likely die sooner with his health problems. Tippy and Orlando will ease the pain for the humans, and hopefully for the dogs too. For now, they'll provide fun antics and entertainment for Mr. Reinke and his beautiful wife, who we'll be meeting next, so listen on. Christy Reinke is Mr. Reinke's wife, and she's just as interested in animals as her sweet husband. They're a couple with a passion for helping animals, and especially wild ones. Christy helps her husband with the baby tiger cubs on a regular basis and knows how important it is for them to grow up well. She helps feed the cubs and she loves Bone Digger, Tony, Milo, and all the other creatures that live on the animal farm just as much as her husband. In fact, she's a big part of the whole process of training and raising the animals, since it's a lot of work for just one man to do. And they didn't stop with a few tigers and a lion, no, oh, no. This family has expanded drastically recently. Mr. and Mrs. Reinke just need to add a bear and they practically have the jungle book in their home. Imagine what fun it would be to wake up in the morning and find two tiger cubs jumping on you. But they have other animals too like this monkey shown in the photo. Clearly, the couple just loves animals of all kinds and they're willing to open their hearts to all of them. That's pretty adorable and it really goes to show that the family is one that will treasure these creatures forever. But they're not keeping the creatures to themselves. Oh no, 
They're spreading the enjoyment of hanging out with Tony, Bone Digger, Milo, Orlando, and Tippy with even more family members. Let's take a look at who else is helping around the park. You might think that your uncle is cool, but is he as cool as Mr. Reinka? He lets his nephews hang out with the baby tigers and help feed and care for the many animals he's rescued over the years. That's a pretty cool way to spend your vacation. Not only do they get to have fun and a really unique experience that very few kids can boast about having, they also learn all about animals and how to care for them. That is invaluable education all on its own. The boys say their favorite thing to do is head to the animal farm and play with the tigers. Honestly, who wouldn't want to do that? It sounds like more fun than chilling with video games or friends on a normal weekend. Most wild animals shy away from cameras, but if you head to the animal park, you'll find that you can get some excellent shots of the animals. Tippy and Orlando, the Tiger Cub brothers, are actually pretty fond of photos, and they'll happily pose for the camera. They have a blast being the center of attention, and so it's no surprise there's a lot of photos of them around. It's one of the highlights for the Reinken nephews when they come over. They can get plenty of selfies with these two cute critters. No one else has that kind of photo on their Instagram. Chances are, you could get a lot more followers with a couple of adorable tiger brothers on your own social media. These two cubs are so playful and fun that they draw attention from anyone visiting the park. As you can see from this photo, Orlando never has a chance with his big brother, Tippy, in charge. Tippy isn't going to let him forget who's the bigger brother. Despite the dire look of the image, the two cubs are always rolling around and attacking each other, just like two kittens. They may be considerably larger than a regular kitten or even a regular house cat, but they're just as playful and fun-loving. It's always entertaining to watch these two siblings jump and play with each other. Soon they'll be much bigger and will be able to play with the older cats too. While they're tiny and easy to pick up now, they'll eventually be too big for the nephews to carry around. That's when they'll be hanging out with the older cats, Tony and Bone Digger. As you can see, this is one animal park where the animals are having a lot of fun, as are the humans. Bone Digger and Milo enjoy their unique relationship and will until one of them is no longer with us. But the other dogs also have a blast hanging out with their lion pal. The human members of the farm also enjoy spending their time together and with their animals. The animal park is basically just a massive family with members that are from all different species. It gradually grows as they take in more animals that need to be looked after. Who would have ever guessed that such a unique bunch of creatures would end up being best friends? No one could have anticipated that Bone Digger would be such a great pal with a little dog, but there you have it.